Hi, I'm Divine, daughter of Africa, precisely from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I say no to COVID-19 vaccine testing in Africa. Africa is not a laboratory, neither are we Africans lab rats. So I say no to any vaccine test in Africa. Few days ago, the French doctors that suggested Africa for the testing of coronavirus vaccine apologized to Africans. However, many people are still outraged with such racist medical research. Similar cases happened in the past in Africa, specifically in 2006. A cargo carrying toxic waste all the way from Holland was illegally dumped in Abidjan, Ivory Coast. The health impact of the toxic waste led to the death of more than 10 people. Up to date, many people are still facing the health impact of the toxic waste in the country. Si je peux être provocateur, est-ce qu'on ne devrait pas faire cette étude en Afrique où il n'y a pas de masque, pas de traitement, pas de réanimation Un peu comme c'est fait d'ailleurs pour certains, certaines études dans le sida où chez les prostituées, on essaye des choses parce qu'on sait qu'elles elles sont hautement exposées et elles ne se protègent pas. Qu'est-ce qu que vous en pensez alors vous avez raison, euh, et d'ailleurs on est en train de réfléchir en parallèle à une étude en Afrique justement pour... In 21st century, French doctors were suggesting Africa for their test lab on a national TV, knowing fully well that people are watching, many Africans are watching. Immediately after the broadcast, some Africans took to the internet to protest against such medical research. I'm going to play a clip and I will come back to explain what happened in Abidjan in 2006. My name is Corneli. I am from DR Congo. I say no to COVID-19 vaccine trial in DRC. We are not guinea pigs and Africa is not a laboratory. My name is Ruth. I'm from Democratic Republic of Congo and I say no to COVID-19 vaccine trial in DRC. We are not guinea pigs. Africa is not your laboratory. I say no, no to the vaccine, to make DRC Congo your guinea pig. A time when I said, when we needed solidarity, this kind of racist remarks actually would not help. It goes against the solidarity. Africa cannot and will not be a testing ground for any vaccine. And it was a disgrace, actually, and appalling to hear during the 21st century from scientists that kind of remark. And we condemn this with the strongest terms possible. In 2006, a cargo carrying toxic waste from a Dutch company in Europe was illegally dumped in different locations in Abidjan, the capital city of Ivory Coast. The health impact of the toxic waste led to the death of more than 15 people. Up to date, many people are still facing the health impact of the toxic waste in the state. Let's take a look. In 2006, a highly toxic waste shipped from Europe in a Greek cargo vessel was dumped illegally in different locations in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, resulting in the death of more than 15 people. The representatives of the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, said they witnessed four or five incidents on a similar scale that same year and admitted that the true figures of trafficking toxic waste, which is both illegal and dangerous to populations and the environment, are far higher. Electronic components account for the largest flow of illegal consignment of toxic waste in the country. Trafigura Company was responsible for the Abidjan disaster, a multinational commodity trading firm specializing in oil and metals. The company is based in Amsterdam, where it has its head office. During the meeting of the European Green Party Congress in Geneva on October 14, 2006, the assembled members of the party condemned the practices of Europe firms such as Trafigura, which endanger human life and uh, the environment by using Africa as a dumping ground for toxic waste instead of processing it in a responsible way. These later practices are turning Africa into a vast dumping ground for Europe's uh, unwanted hazardous waste. The European Greens 
denounce these practices in all the countries in which they are representing and call on the governments concerning it to act responsibly. In August 2006, a cargo ship discharged 500 tons of toxic waste in Abidjan. The hazardous substances belonged to Trafigura, an Anglo-Dutch commodity trading company behind the dumping. According to official estimates, 15 people died, 69 people were hospitalized, and over 108,000 others sought medical treatment after the incident. According to my understanding, this cargo carrying toxic waste went to few African countries but was rejected. They then find their way to Abidjan. Probably the custom officers in Abidjan collected bribe from them and allowed this toxic waste to be illegally dumped in their soil that led to the death of more than 10 people. Many others are still suffering from the health impact of the toxic waste in the country. Thank you.